and welcome to DMV with High School Students presents the Summer Sessions. Woo! It's summer of 2019 and we are here at the table with um, the people. <laughs> and the okay. Summer Sessions are going to pick up right where we left off from the Season 3 finale. So if you haven't watched that yet, spoilers, go back and watch it. But spoilers. we're going to pick up. So a brief recap. Um, <laughs> Season three ended in a dramatic, epic combat that ultimately concluded with Beecher invoking the power of his um, imbued scythe and rolling an at 20, hitting a Finoop. A flash of light blinded everyone momentarily, and then both of the Finoops were gone. The artifact lay on the floor. And you, Beth, Mantra, walked over to it, picked it up, and said, what now? So you're holding the artifact. The only person who has held it thus far. Hey, uh. Tony, you have the book, which the demon had identified as a book from Arakazine, a place that you have never heard of. But when you mentioned that to the fine oops, you noticed that they both were immediately shocked at your knowledge. Yeah, that's right. Now, if you recall, were. the rock gnome and the half-elf pirate girl got had away. fled. They got away. There was a darkness spell. They ran. And that was a long time ago during the combat. So you guys are in this illustrious room, which now is torn up from combat. You know, eldritch blasts were everywhere. There were, there's, you know, Crazy. damage all over the place, right? So you guys are in this room. Giraffa. Yes. You, your, your, um, your buzz is starting to wear off. It's been like at least two hours since you've had any drinks. And this whole experience has been incredible. These new, some of the old friends and some of the new friends that you've met are all standing around you. And it occurs to you that you are not any wealthier than you were before. Yeah. <coughs> As you guys look around at each Thanks. other in the room, you notice Olin is standing in shock, as if he's he's like looking at his scythe, looking at where the fine oops were, and then you notice him like look over, and you can see Jaquan. Jaquan is visible, and he whispers something to Jaquan, and Jaquan kind of flies out the way, and Olin's like, "I'm I'm going to send Jaquan to see if he could find the rock gnome." So you guys are there. Now what? What do you do? Okay. Can we uh, loot the room, or is it just like destroyed? Yeah, the, we can we loot something. There, there's there's plenty of things, but it's not like things that you could loot and just like, like sell. Yeah. Like you can't like pick up a coffee table and walk down out of the inn without the innkeeper being like, "Hey, wait, that's mine." <laughs> so. Okay. Um, Man. I don't know. I kind of just. Now you do remember confused. that the blonde <laughs> elf fine oop had said that he bought this in. He owns it. And that's why this room is so like nice. It's basically like, his personal Can room. I go look at the other fine oops room? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I wanna go. Okay. So you guys you guys walk down the hall to that more moderate room, still nicely appointed. Um, the other fine oops room is pretty basic. Okay. Um, but there there's a dresser with I go like look three at different it. drawers. I Ooh. go into it. Okay. And I'll do that with you. No. Okay. That's real rude. So <laughs> the first thing that you, you see in that dresser mm -hmm. um, are some really nice clothes, none of which match. They're like fine flowery silks and like <sighs> multicolored blouses and shirts Sounds and like, like my closet. All, I want to take the silks. Yeah, there's like some scarves and stuff. Very like gaudy kind of stuff, but like none of it really matches. Kind Here of guys, kind of how he dressed. <laughs> Give it so all you speed. figure that's like his clothing. <laughs> You're like this is guyless. <laughs> the second drawer contains um, a black hooded robe. I want that. Mm, and it, it looks like it would fit like somebody of his size. Wait, wait. I will take it and I will tailor it to my size. No, 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 wait. You're, I don't know if I'm right about this. Was that person that we saw with the black robe? Maybe. Sorry, we can go back to it if I just had my... Uh, the third drawer contains a small jewelry box. Can I open Emblazoned it? Emblazoned on the top of the box 
-hmm. is a picture with three mountains. On the top of the center mountain, you see an eye, like a huge eye, a like eye. floating in the sky above the center mountain. On the above the mountain to the left is the sun, and above the mountain to the right is the moon. From coming down from each of the mountains are little like streams of water that end up in a pool. Surrounding this pool is a ring of fire. Is it showing the gods of some sort? I'm, I take it. Okay. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked? Yeah, the, the jewelry box is locked. It's just a simple yeah. little lock. Do you want to pick the lock? I want to break yeah. it. Yes. I, I have, have a bobby pin. No, Can wait, I smash I, it in half? I have feet. Yeah, she's a rogue. I'm a rogue. Make a, make oh. a roll. You, you have um, proficiency in these tools. Ooh. Nice. 19. That Hello. will more than do it. You're like, ping. And it just, <laughs> yeah, she's like, she just pop she the lock. The yeah. <laughs> Super easy. Okay, you open the lid. Mm -hmm. Inside, there's like a nice pillowy, like velvet, you know, like kind of thing for jewelry, okay? There's a silver necklace okay. with a medallion. Ooh, I like that. The medallion has a silver Medusa skull with fangs oh. and little snake Medusas that are skeletal. Yeah. Well, like skeletal snakes, so imagine a Medusa, but all skeletal. And that's the silver medallion. I really want that. Medallion. Yes. Okay. Is that there's the also, Is it worth anything? I mean, it's silver. Um, there's also a scroll. Ooh. And the scroll uh, looks like it's kind of old. Not ancient, but kind of old. Like it's kind of worn at the edges and stuff. And it's just tied with a little ribbon. Can I open it? Sure. I open it. Okay. You you unroll the scroll. Okay. And <coughs> this definitely looks like a map. Treasure hunt. You, although the map is not necessarily labeled, um, anybody looking at the map, make, make a history check. Oh, look at the map. 20. Yeah, I'm looking, but I don't I have a 20. Nat 20. Okay. Boom! All right, you guys... And I have history of plus zero. I, I got a one. Tony's I like, my bardic, my bardic knowledge tells me nothing. And Jake's like, ah, oh, my friend, let me tell you what this is. I got I a got three. You, yes, I have you, brother. Three, okay. you're, you're like, I don't, what is that? Is it a picture? I got a 20. 20 is good enough. <laughs> so between the zero. two of you, you look at this map, and you're like, oh, wait, this is, this is the island. This is our continent. Oh. <laughs> Although the map is very simple, it's more geographical than anything. You recognize the outline of the continent. And in the center, you recognize the mountains. The only thing that's labeled on this is a point in the dead middle of that mountain range in the center of New Wolf Omai. And it's just marked with an X. The fuck? Wait, can I look at the jewelry box and the map and see like if it's the same point where the pond is? Dang, girl. You, you okay, you compare them. But you don't see on, on the map, in the middle of the mountain range where this X is, you don't see any water. You don't see any streams or, or lakes. And other parts of the map, like where you guys are now, Kabul Kailash, there's like um, the, the, the Holy Lake in Kabul Kailash. You see other water bodies and, and other like but mountain ranges, but in the center of the mountains, does it, like match up? it doesn't seem to match up. Oh, poop nuggets. <laughs> okay. Well, I re I'm gonna take that. Is it north of where we are? Well, if you orientate the map, yeah, it's basically at the center of the island. So okay. it's north and east of where you are now. North and east. Of where we are. Now, go could you say adventure? that it's the you town make above, a, or would you say it's you, farther? You, you can make a history check, and I'll I'll allow you with your bardic knowledge to expand on this. Three. <laughs> okay. Bill, I didn't... So, Tony, you know that the I'm mountain range in the today. center of New Wolf Oatmai is not claimed hey, by any kingdom or theocracy. That it's... The, 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 the <sighs> middle of the continent is a harsh, mountainous terrain. Okay. Um, and unlike the rest of the island, which is kind of warm and Mediterranean in climate, the mountains in the middle are 
are higher up in elevation and there's snow and stuff like that it's colder and and it's not it's it's just kind of a it's considered like a barren wasteland like this is something that everybody would pretty much know like no kingdoms claim this this block okay. of land in the middle of the island and there's no writing at all on the map nope just an x i think that we should i want to go go to that place that there's an x on because we don't know we could have been there already. I kind of want to go to the library. You've That's what I was going to say. Let's I want to go, go, go to the library. library. Listen, guys, Stop. so I sit no, at the party. Let's go to the Why are we going to the library? Because they're going to know what's in the middle. Oh, man, you guys are such a door. No, we thing. should go to the library, and he should research. Research. Research? Okay. Research. research more about this place. Here's the thing. You and guys like, can what? do that. I want to go to the library because I want to research the town above. Because, okay. like, low-key, there is a black, smoky, glass sphere in the town above, and the object spoke once and is now silenced. Silent. And Tony, I want to find that place. Tony, don't you think it might be the object that the princess had? Make a perception roll. Uh, sorry, insight. New die. New die. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Uh, insight, I have, I think, plus one. Yeah. You, when you're talking about that, when you say that to them, you notice that Olin, like, kind of, like, looks at you briefly and, like, looks away. Oh snap! We have to go there then. Hey, bud. What's hey. that, Jaquan? Olin. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. Olin. Like, Olin. 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 Yeah. I have a question for you, <laughs> Olin. Okay. Old friend, pal of mine. Mm-hmm. You seemed oddly suspicious there when I mentioned that town above and the glass sphere oh, that's black and sheets. smoky in the town <laughs> above. <laughs> that spoke once is now quiet. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, I know where it is and what it is. Oh. Why, how, and that? what? <laughs> what? It's... We literally know what it is. I can't You're tell right. you. My patron won't allow me to tell you. But I'll tell you this. I have to find this scroll. And the scroll... I don't know why, but my patron told me that I have to find it. And I feel like if I can find it, it might explains some of this stuff that's been happening. It's not. Jaquan is actually going back up to the monastery to see if he can find a way into the monastery so that I can find the scroll. Why am I so confused? Yeah, I'm down to help Wait. with that. If we get we closer to the sphere thing. Because I want to figure out what the book is. Beecher. Or Owen <laughs> Beecher. <laughs> I want to figure out what the book is. Really bad. Can I have it? Can I call it? I feel like it's moment? my mission. Yes. You have to do the, this sign though. Meta moment. Meta moment. Um, okay, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. um, number one, that scroll that he's mm -hmm. looking for, is that the one that she just found? No. No. It's like it's somewhere in the monastery Yeah. that he needs okay. to get. Second of all, patron to, yeah. what's that black thing? So that's oh, something that yeah. the demon told me about, and he said that he would explain to me everything in the like book. Like last, last. Yeah. Okay. So totally basically, my book with has like a okay. super. Big city dragon. Are you explaining this out of meta moment, like in character? Do you want me to? I think they didn't that, hear that would make more everything. sense. Oh. So, yeah. So. On meta moment. On meta moment, yeah. Keep going. In the dungeon. Yeah. As you might recall, the demon turned to me and told me I could ask some questions because I seemed inquisitive. And so, I t asked him about the book, right? And he told me that it's like this super duper 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 powerful duper spell duper. book, right? Like, insane, like tons of power, and like, he's like, I could read it for you, but you would have to like bring me something, and I'm like, what? And he's like, the town above, there's a glass sphere that is black and smoky. And it was like talking for a while, he said, like he could like hear it, and now it was quiet. Silent. Okay, okay, cool. Olin's like, I don't think it would be a good <coughs> idea to give that black orb to that demon. That could be really, really, really bad. I see that. It's, I'll put it to you this way. Right now it's safe. I have it hidden in a safe place. Okay. <laughs> but I want to figure out what the book says. Really bad, man. But okay. He's like, I'll, 
He's like, I can help you figure out what the book means. But I think right now, maybe you guys should try to find out more about this map and, and what some of these symbols are and that, you know, the picture on top of the jewelry box, whatever, because I need to find out if there's a way to get into the monastery to find the scroll. He's like, I'm going to go back up to the monastery. I'll meet you back in our hotel rooms in four hours. Okay. okay. I'm going to the library. Okay, so he leaves to go meet up with Jaquan at the monastery. All right. Let's go to the library. Oh, how exciting! Let's go read some books. Are we allowed to take open alcohol in this <laughs> island? Because I mean, stop at the bar first. You, you're giraffe, so you can kind. Of, you just do what you want to do. We're going to the bar. Why don't, then we're going why to the why don't you just hang out at the bar? Yeah. Fine, I'll stay out at the bar alone. Okay. Okay. You have fun with all your friends. Uh, so friends. you yeah. go to the bar. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, mean, I pay with my ten gold pieces. No. Immediately, three to four people walk up to you. Three of them are girls, and one is uh, a gay guy. And they <laughs> all buy you drinks. Oh, yeah. They're like, oh, Giraffa, welcome back. And they, they're like asking you to tell more stories about your adventures. Yes. All right. <laughs> Boom. Banana in hand. Now, the rest of you go to the library? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Have fun. So, <laughs> you go to the library, and uh, Tony, your lady friend, is there. And she's like, oh, Cademan, welcome back. Uh, who are your friends? Hi, Denise. Um, this, this, is my, uh, this is my group of vagabonds. We roam from town to town. Oh. Aimlessly. Gathering knowledge, I assume. Yes, of your, course. For your various tales that, yes. and songs that you write. Yes. Mm -hmm. You remembered. That's great. Yes, well met. Well, Quite an interesting gathering. Uh, I, I don't often see... Elves and Tabahi and, and Tieflings and gnomes, but that's great. We're diverse. <laughs> we're like, yeah. We're yeah. cool. We're, we're like the, we're the, <laughs> we're the uh, cast of Hamilton of D&D. Oh my and god. I, I don't know the what breakfast. that means, but that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, the so breakfast <laughs> what, what are you researching today? Can, today I, can I help you? Today we're researching, um, two, we're going to research two things today. Um, first of all, we want to research... Um, I have this... Yeah, she has a couple a questions. A scroll and a jewelry box that has, like, mountains and a sun, and it points towards... Ooh. a. <laughs> I calm all that down. I didn't She's even like, come, come over yet. to the, uh, the work table. Can She's I just... can I open this scroll and show her? Yeah. Do you trust her? So yeah. she, she brings you over to, to a table that's pretty much, like, this size. It's a okay. large table. There's already, like, some books on mm -hmm. it. She just kind of scoots them out okay. of the way. She's like, please, let's... Yeah. I'm very interested. <clears throat> so we found this scroll in this jewelry box, and I open up the scroll, and I show her. And, uh... I just want to know like more information about this X and like mm. where it is and what it means. She looks at it. And she's like, "Oh, um, well, this is this was seemed to be an old map of the continent. Um, let me let me get get some some possible books that might help." And she okay. kind of walks off into the stacks. Thanks, Denise. Thank you, Denise. Kind of had more questions for Denise. Denise. Uh, I'll wait for her there. I wanted to ask about Rakazine and just see if she had anything on it okay so she comes back mm -hmm. and she has like four books and she kind of hands them out and oh. she's opening them up and they seem to be kind of like history and geography based books All right. so she's kind of paging through some you guys start looking through some and what you find between these multiple books is more maps of new ofotmai some of the maps have like the the kingdoms and the theocracy and the boundaries that you know kind of the more governmental stuff some are more geographic um, and in all of these, there's also additional history. So what I'm going to do is have, who has proficiency with investigation? Does any, do any of you I have? Do. You do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have plus three. I have so plus yeah. seven. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Okay. They're, they're going to do, they're going to well, assist one. you. Okay? <laughs> okay. So they're assisting you, and basically, so it's one roll instead of all you making rolls. Um, but you get advantage because they're assisting. So roll two d20s and take the higher of the two, and then tell me your total. Come on, Sam. Fuck. Five. Five. Five and two. So the five. So what's I, your bonus to investigation? Plus seven. Okay. So twelve. So that's a twelve. So it's not a fail. It's just not a okay. massive success. <laughs> so here's what you guys find out. After about an hour of like reading through the histories and kind of comparing the maps. 
you discover that the mountainous region in the center of the continent of New Wolf Oh My um, has been a dangerous place for as long as recorded history. There are stories that you guys find about giants, tribes of giants who live in the mountains. There are stories that you find about terrible, fearsome monsters <laughs> that live in the mountains. That's why we research. <laughs> yes, let's go. There are stories of uh, the frozen dead, of people who have gone into this area and died and then come back again and are walking. Um, the closest thing, though, that you find to any valuable information is that there is a rumor, just a rumor, of a possible hidden valley somewhere in that region, which I'll point out is like more than 100 miles wide. It's a big space. But somewhere in that middle mountainous region, there's a rumor of a hidden valley that contains some kind of magical element to it. And that's all you get with your meager 12. Great. And this library's resources. So Denise is very excited. She's like, this is, this is very exciting. I, I'm sorry that our library doesn't have more information, but to be quite honest with you, I've never really known of uh, a lot of interest in that area specifically because it's so remote, so dangerous, uh, which is largely why none of the kingdoms or theocracies have ever laid claim to it. I don't know that there's anything of value there either. It's not like there's wealth or resources or, you know, that, that anyone knows about, which would explain why there's not a lot written about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could I um, ask you one more thing, too, Denise? Of course. I another question. I'm happy to help with your research, Cademan. This is very exciting. I don't often get a lot of visitors to the library here in Kadinki Kala. Oh. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. Right? She's yeah, like, ask, ask away. He's not um, here, right? Rack, uh, Rackazine. Do you have anything on a place called Rackazine? So, first of all, not a moment. It's yeah. a rack a zine. A rack a zine. Mm -hmm. A rack a zine. What is Tony Just saying? Just say it three times. He's saying like, rack a zine, which is kind of like the, the ghetto like, version. Yeah. It's like a Boston accent. <laughs> it's like the difference between what naked what and I represent naked. Okay. naked. I thought it was more like naked. people who like, are naked. from like, right. Chicago. Naked. Rack a zine. Naked. A rack a zine. Are you uh, I, she's like, <laughs> I've never heard of that, but I'm happy to look. Is it a town? What What is it? I'm not sure. I believe it could be found in like a mythology section. Oh. Possibly. Well, I do have a few books of that nature. Let me go off and get them. And she, she goes. She scurries away. That's her heels. Comes back a few minutes later. I hope later. that's right. I have no idea, but that's the only thing I can she think She lays of. out some more books on the table. You're going through them with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make an investigation roll. She's helping you with advantage. So Make you a get flirtatious roll too. I'm finished. You get, you get to roll the d20 twice. 16, 16 or a nat 20. Or a nat 20. Eight. Eight. Okay. So, eight. 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 so what's Can, your bonus? Should I use persuasion? No. no investigation. Investigation. <laughs> investigation is plus three. That's 19. 19. All right, Tony. You go through all like the that. books with her. There is nothing about anywhere called a racazine. No reference whatsoever. In fact, she even went back through some of the history books and there wasn't anything in there either. So you make an issue. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Denise, I have one more question. I realize yes. I've taken up a lot of your time and I appreciate no problem whatsoever. Sam, Sam and them were just sleeping in one of the rooms. Like, <laughs> but is can you tell me the location, the near the location of like the oldest graveyard within uh, like a fifty mile radius? Well, um, there are probably several, but um, at the bottom of Kadimki Kala, there's an old graveyard. Um, 
part of it was actually covered by the landslide that um, sundered this part of the mountain. Is that what Stevie Nick's saying about? Yeah. Landslide? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> that was a good one, right? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's, it's not actively used, but you could still find some older crypts and a lot of the headstones were broken crypts. and, you know, the, the place is overgrown a bit, but if you follow the maiden path downtown, down through town, out of Kadimki Kala, uh, I would say just to the west, near the base of the hill is where you would find that. Thank you, Denise. All right, well, I feel like we're all tired. Let's go join Giraffa and get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yes. Please. How you guys go this? back to the inn. Or like, How long was I there alone? A um, couple hours. Oh. How long um, were we supposed to meet Beach or back at the hotel? Crap. Well, he said in four hours. So right, it's only been we like two hours. Okay. So. Oh, okay. so we have two more hours yeah. of drinking and having yeah. fun. So you guys go back to the inn. You meet up with Giraffa. Um, there's actually uh, a couple musicians playing some music. Oh, oh. I wonder. And when who. they see Cademan come in, they're like, "Wait, Cademan, do you, do you want to join us? Do you guys want to play with us? Do a little jam session?" I'm gonna make him beg a little bit. I don't know. I'm so I'm so tired. Oh, please, Cademan, please. Uh, Wait, is that Elixia? Would you? Yes. Would Jesus. you play your yeah, we're, flute we're with really us? We're really so tired. Um, you mean my mandolin? Uh, your mandolin, yes. yes. We've heard about you. You guys have traveled. All right. So yeah, you know what? Let's do what, it. What the hell? The crowd of I guess we'll do it. Okay, so both of you make a performance check. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> 14. Oh, and plus 7. Wait, no, plus 8. What? How so I have 14 plus 8. So you have proficiency. So your proficiency bonus is three. Yeah. You get to add that to your roll. I know, but I got nine, and then I had to add three. So it wasn't your 12. best performance. It's all right. There's always the next so, one. So, you know, I might have messed up my mandolin so a little it's bit. It's fine. Um, so you guys join them. You play a rousing performance. The crowd yes. cheers. Um, you guys each get some rounds of drinks bought for you. What are you guys doing in the meantime? Partying. Taking shots. Ladies. Shot, 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 get shot. getting drunk. Okay. Hey, meet me at the bar. Hey. What kind of hey, what kind of music is playing? Rock. Um, they're playing like a lively, like Folk, acoustic like, set, hey, folky hey, acoustic. Yeah, and I get tw and I add twenty two. <laughs> and some so. people also, dance at My some point. You know, <laughs> there's there's a guy playing like two drums, keeping a beat, and the other guy playing a flute. Comes on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you guys, like, you guys make it lively. <laughs> the crowd's very happy. Mm -hmm. You're keeping it going. Yeah. There's some drinks happening. Oh, food comes around yes and basically because of your performance you guys all get like several rounds of drinks and some food oh, for free hey, yeah. more which is good because you are not wealthy um, <laughs> i am oh yeah actually i, I think I you guys are because he gave you didn't he give you yeah we have gold pieces gold pieces gold pieces wait wait gold pieces. i was thinking when we got 69 you guys got and 20 gold pieces we got paid a while ago yeah i can give you dude you know what dude straight up can I give? Yeah, you have I, fifteen electrum and ten, or fifteen, yeah. So you guys did get that cash advance. I have sixty-nine. Where, silver yeah, pieces. we asked for a little. I have cash fifteen cards. gold pieces. Uh -huh. I have twenty gold pieces and sixty-nine silver pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have two hundred twenty-four uh -huh. gold pieces. <laughs> and I'd like to give Jirafa a hundred. Can I do that? Yes. That's yeah. Extremely. That's like Wait, uh, an entire have any paycheck. Pieces? No, but you have electrum. Thank you, sir. So you can trade that in for silver. Here. I appreciate the kind gesture. It goes this is one I tell you, I never see you ever again. No, just silver and Hey, remember, silver remember when we were in there and I, okay. you didn't yeah. kill all of us? No, yeah. Wait, Let's call it square. Yeah, same. Now I have 124 pieces. I have 120 pieces, pieces of gold. Hey, yeah, you're, you're, you're wealthy. Yeah. I made that mistake. Yeah, you All right, did. so <laughs> you guys, um, you guys have festivities, and you know, a couple hours go by. You're all very happy. And uh, yeah. we're yeah. it's about that time. time I've been helping a long time. It's approximately about the time oh, yeah. that you were <laughs> supposed to meet Olin <laughs> back at your I'm not inn. Even hugging you back. Oh. Like, so remember, you guys have a couple rooms adjacent to each other in, in an inn across the street. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alexi and I hang out. Is Olin there? 
Not like sleep together. Yeah. We just sleep just... together. Just What's snuggle? up, Bolin? Yeah. Kind of so basically, you snuggle with a cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, worry. I'll lay by the. So cat. wait. So you guys so go I'm back to your rooms. You. <laughs> and you you go to like you go to your room. Everything's fine. Um, you guys go to your room expecting Girl's to see Olin. Olin's not there. <laughs> Sleepover. <gasps> so you go? hear them like go into their room, like you're, you know, you go into your rooms. Room. <laughs> We're gonna have a girls' party in my room. Okay. 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 I don't but Olin's not so close. I tell, tell Giraffa, them? I'm like, we should go try and find Olin. I'm thinking. Yeah, he's gone. Let's go. Face masks. Do you tell them? Yeah. Nope. We're like, I don't think we should tell him. Well, okay, bitch. I walk up and I tap on the door and I'm like, hey, we're we're gonna go look for Olin. Thank you, and then we go. And I like, Fine. I, I, I don't like, go. He's probably in the monastery. I like grab the hammer and I'm like right. walking and I kind of like trip and like almost fall over and the hammer like saves me because I'm so drunk. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to like stay straight up. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Sounds good. I'm like, let's go to the monastery. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're all gonna go to all the right. monastery. I guess so. so you guys go to the monastery. You walk up the path yeah. through town, up the hill. Mm-hmm. You see the gates. The the gate doors are open. I mean, you see the walls. Doors are open just like normal. Uh, because it's evening, you see like some braziers of fire and you know a few like torches yeah. um, out there. So there's some light. Um, it seems very quiet. You don't see any of the monks like working, doing any of their gardening or anything like that. I climb to the roof. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Why do you do that so, every time we go to what? the monastery? You know, remember that there's the main building in the center of the monastery, that yeah. domed mm-hmm. building. Um, and you do see some lights on in there. When you climb up to the top of the wall, you like look out over the entire land of the monastery. Okay. You don't see anybody outside. Bill, one of the birds in, cause you know how they have all the little birds flying around the mm-hmm. monastery? I whistle to it. Yeah. I want to talk to it. it. Like flies over to you. I'm like, You're can like, you tell ah, me what you see, ah. what you've seen in the, <laughs> like in the big building over there? How? Big princesses. It's like people, 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 people. People? people. <laughs> what kind of people? People, people. People. Are there any bigger birds in the monastery? Mm. People. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. It's like just people. And then it flies away. And then it flies back and it's like, where's my seeds? It's like, bitch. And then it flies away. Bitch. <laughs> wow. All right, so you guys walk up through the path. You get to um, the main monastery. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's hurt. interesting about that, remember, is that um, the main monastery building so in the center has no doors either. <laughs> what? Um, it's just an open like arch. Arch. Oh, okay. So you, as you're getting closer, you smell like incense and you mm. hear some like singing. Not chompa. Some like oh, 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 like the monks are doing things. Every once in a while, there's like a mm. ding, like meditation. Yeah. Something how I want to live my life, Long. to be honest. So you guys kind of approach, and um, no, wait, you, you can look in to the doorway, and yeah, you see <laughs> all the monks are there, and they're doing, like, their prayers. They're all, like, on their knees, and they're doing, like, bowing and prayers, and they're, like, Eek. meditating and chanting. Getting and, their third eyes open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the center, in that sand pit in the center, you, you see the head monk, the abbot. I thought you meant the head of, like, a monk. Remember the abbot? <laughs> yeah. Who? Who healed the princess? Princess, yeah. Mm, what happened to the princess, by the way? She's in her hotel room with her entourage. She, okay. has, she hasn't it, left town yet. Yeah, okay. I was going to say we've we've we've, we've been like adequately dismissed, right? Like we're not. They're not like looking for us well, right now. Well, in a sense, but remember that um, His Holiness Kor Pagambar said that if you accompanied her back to the capital, he would reward you as well. Okay, we, we have that. to do that. So <laughs> if you wanted to do I that, to she's again. not leaving yet so okay. so you you notice that the abbot's in the center and he's he's kind of like deep in meditation and when you guys get to the doorway you notice his eyes open and he looks up at you okay. and he smiles and he's oh. like and he stands up he walks through the other monks towards you just gracefully kind of moving through and he comes to the doorway and he's like greetings my friends it's good to see you. what up have homes? you have you come to Pay homage to the gods. You are welcome in the temple to, to join us if you would like. Have you seen our friend Olin, wise one? I have not recently, no. 
Mm. He wasn't here today. Liar. Sorry. Make an insight check. <laughs> I go liar. You guys are all there. Seven. Nope. That's not gonna do it. Nine. Twenty-three. Fourteen. I roll a da- I roll the twenty. Yeah, twenty. In your face. Your instincts are are triggered. Yes. You feel like he's not being. Triggered. I knew it. His shifty eyes. Do I? Can I pick up on Alexia's? Make suspicion? another insight Wait, check. Wait, I have an because idea. Because she's my she's my partner. Partner, yeah. Seventeen. So Inside plus you, you one, like 18. you looked at him and he's like, no, I have like, not seen it. Now. I look in the corner of your eye, you see her kind of like. <laughs> okay, like so I go. Baby. How did the gods feel about dishonesty, wise one? Scooby <laughs> Papa. Uh, it's, it's always important to be truthful. All right, so then tell us the truth, Roy. I I have. Hold you the truth. Okay. You're welcome to join us. Is it okay if we just look around and we like? Of course. Thank you. No. Can Thank we you. intimidate him? But I, I ask that you do so respectfully because it's we, we are in prayers right now. Okay. Yeah. We won't bother you. Or we're just gonna look around. Of course. Thank you. He he goes back to the center and he resumes his position and he goes. Mm. We should have grabbed. Okay. And then we oh, run yeah. for it. <laughs> okay, guys. Now we have to like go look around. We have to like go up to like other places. Is he, so he, does remember that he's like opening each, his eyes once in a while. Like, remember that the monastery like, is divided up perfectly into like four quadrants, and each quadrant represents one of the elemental components, and thus that elemental god, right? So there's yeah. like the water gardens, and there's a little building for them, and that's for you know Vusag, and then there's the the wind garden, the earth garden, and the fire gardens, and then in the center is the main temple building. Well, where would the scroll be? You don't know because Olin didn't know. Is there like stairs to go up somewhere? I think we should look around. So we should all split up and one of us should stay with the monks. No, I don't think we should. I think we should have partners. It should be like Scooby Doo. Yeah. Split. <laughs> Wait, but there's four. But we're gonna do. split up. They go oh, Wait, doing. hold on. That's right. So let's, who's gonna be the unlucky one? <laughs> let's just think about like what the building is, right? So it's like. Made a brick, right? It's like a circle. There's no doors going to any other like parts that aren't like the main. It's room, literally right? one big domed building. With nothing. No, you guys have never checked out the small um, sections, shrines, the small buildings in each of the four Corners. elemental yeah, quadrants. Yeah, go to there. But you, you, the I main like domed building doesn't even there. have an upstairs. You walk in. <laughs> I don't believe it's that. There is a trap door. Are there other smaller the buildings bit. around? No, there has to be like a trap door or something. I think that we should all. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. There's four. Can, one, is there three, anybody who has. Right. Can I go start with the an arcana that can make a roll on it? Yeah, I have one. No. What? Does anybody have any kind of efficiency in arcana I have so plus we can three. roll on it? No. no. Plus three, what do you have? One. One. I think I have one. I have zero. Or what about. Arcana plus three, two. Investigation. Can I roll on investigation? We should both make a roll on arcana. Where are you invest? So tell me where you're gonna investigate. I want to investigate if you got there's 15, like more, right, like if there's something hiding, like fifteen doors two. or something in the main temple. Plus three. No, like Plus around. Three. All right. So tell me an element: earth, wind, fire, or water, and then you can go to that area and investigate. Bill, earth, we both wind, got fire, eighteen. Water, Avatar. Mm. Or Arcana. Can we pick up like if there's any other kind of like room? Or like something underground or underneath, you know what I mean? Can we sense any kind of like magic from like okay any other part of the monastery? You both got eighteen. Yeah. Got 18. So Arcana doesn't necessarily is, detect magic, but it does give you the ability to kind of have insights about things that might be magical or esoteric. And as you're looking around, it occurs to you that the structure of this monastery and the layout of it is very similar to something that you are holding. The, the picture. No. Right? Oh. Something that you are holding. The artifact. Oh, the artifact? Oh, that's great. Yeah. The artifact also has a large cup in the middle that's circular, and then four copper pipes that go up to smaller cups. In each direction. <gasps> that is that is the, the layout of it's the a layout monastery. of the monastery. Yeah. 
or you fill them up with each what? of those. Wait, so spells. we were walking around the bar with the artifacts, though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What? She, she has it. We're not going to leave this, it anywhere. We had this we're deadly artifact water. walking like, around the bar. Like, we don't know what it does. Should we try to summon it? I'm taking shots out of it. Too much talk over. Go. Uh, Sam had the good idea to put like one thing from each element in the cups. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do that. Okay. Well, no. so you you go to the earth area. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Pick up some dirt. There's dirt. There's sand. Sure. Dirt okay. And water. Water in the water cup. Okay. You go over to the water thing. So you're carrying it. How do you do so the that air? So you don't spill it. I'll fill she mine. she scoops. How do you do it? Her. Okay. <laughs> you blow into it. So yes. So the water that's pretty easy. Water. You go over to the fire area. There's actually oil, and you you okay. kind of scoop some in there carefully without burning yourself. And now you got like a little burning oil inside of one of them. And then you go to the air area. Um, Nothing happens. What do you? Do? Oh, you breathe. You breathe in it. You breathe into it. <laughs> but that's not air. That's carbon dioxide. Okay. You breathe into it. <laughs> now you're holding this. No, that's not right. That's what he's. I think that's a layout. You guys but should... there's a cup in the middle. What if you guys had like a cup? There's a cup in the middle. You mix it all. And it's bigger than the other ones. You mix it all. You put a little bit of each in the middle. Okay. You, you put a little bit of each in the middle. You blow in yes. the middle. <gasps> that's not air. I have a feeling it's Nothing not air. Happens. It do, what if we can we have like a container that we could like take well, some of the I air from the air area and then put it onto the like thing? This over. Okay, Fan. you try that. Nothing. I think I, think it's I have a little. I have there, a little. It has to be like an arcane symbol that you say or something. No. Like remember when we had that door? Can we yeah, history in checks the box? Hey, I have an alchemy set. History we checks. Sure. Yeah, I have yeah. plus zero, so I got the team, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> 15. 12. Okay. Why do I keep putting my die away? Guys, history. zero plus history. I'm carrying over history. Plus three. All right, I got a 15. Wait, okay. what are we? What three. Are we? History. Oh. Nat 20. Four. Woo! 24. Hey, zero history Ten. squad. Pulling their weight. 14. 10. Dill. We got this. Can That's I, not enough. Can Sam, I play a song using like my Gary. magic mandolin to the artifact to see if it does anything? Would it do anything? Okay. Features things I got I got a history. Hat 20. Do you remember anything about what you discovered when you were in the capital? I wasn't there. Like it, like like when we were in the dungeon in the capital? Uh I yeah. Remember. It was so or bizarre. afterwards all the things that you guys learned? It's so long. I ago. remember in the dungeon there was the door and it had that symbol above it. Right. And you had to say a word yeah. and it was literally wind. From the, it was a symbol from uh -huh. the uh, air god so and that opened the with door. With your extraordinary history check, you, you, you're kind of getting little glimpses that there's something consistent with religion and with magic in some cases that's tied to the elements. Okay, I have a plus six in religion. Okay, maybe you want to make a roll. Do you explain what you're thinking about? Yes. Do you remember anything that you found in the dungeon? The gem? Uh-huh. The, the rug that had all the symbols? And what was the gem? Uh, it was what was the, it? The, the, the earth, the wa fire, wa water. I don't water. remember. <laughs> no, I have no idea what it was. Wait, wait, wait. Was it, it, was, it, was, it was a gem that would be used during the like upbringing of the babies. Of the demon babies. So what's cool is that Beth wasn't there for that, but neither was Mantra. So it's actually realistic that Mantra wouldn't know because she wasn't there with you guys. Yeah. She'd, However, with your extensive religion role, it occurs to you that the, the four gods are based on the four elements. And you remember there being like kind of a, you know, a, a, a religious mythology related to those gods having left physical embodiments of their power. Sometimes they're referred to as god stones. Sometimes they're referred to as <laughs> elemental crystals. Okay, so we need to find them. 
So we just ruined it by pouring lava all over it? And <laughs> no. <doing> it right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, when you were in the Capitol, you got a tour. If you they recall, had wall investigation. They had them all underneath there. Did they have them all? No, there was missing one. Uh -huh. Which one? <gasps> it's going to be like Stupid. the one. You saw, you saw three. Mm -hmm. So His Holiness missing? in the Treasury had three godstones. Yes, and it was missing one of them. Which one is it missing? Your artifact has four points and something in the center. So there's actually five components. The one, the one that they're missing. As you're talking about this, it occurs to you that there are five gods, not four. The fifth one is the one that nobody ever pays homage to or refers to because it's the god of the void, the god Wait, of nothingness. The black sphere. And that is the god Taik. Black sphere. Oh the god. black smoky sphere. <laughs> No, think about it. That's why the demon guy wants it, dude. No one pays homage to him. Knew about Finu. Knew about Rakazine. Hanging out in this dungeon talking about a black, smoky object. Would it fit in the cup? For the cup? Because he, he has the artifact, but, like, wants us to return with the black, smoky object because he is whatever that god you just said was. The god of the void. The god of the void. Oh, because it is a Tony, you may have one inspiration point. Yes! Hey! Tony, Get it. Antonio Kuzinski. Wait, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Wait, where is it? So you guys are kind of in the monastery. You, you've tried adding yes. these different elements to the cups, and nothing seems to happen. Okay, so, so find the, stuff. the three that they have at Cabo Kylie. Right? That's mm. where it is? It, oh. the, the mm. I remember names. So once we um, the princess, And then we need the fourth, which we have an inclination that Yomi has. And then the stupid sphere Beecher that knows where it is. Olin took. Yeah. Sorry, Olin. But we need to find him. We don't know where he is. You don't know where Olin is. So, yeah. so basically, Olin has the sphere. Yomi has the fourth the stone. Sphere? And the other three are at the city. Okay, we have to get these monks to talk somehow. Yo, monkey, monk. I say we check out the four spheres around the building, and then if we can't find them, we just so have to confront them right now, them all. all the monks are in prayers. So the cottages yeah. in each of the elemental gardens are, are empty. Yep. So, so we go there. Yes, yeah, we, we have to go, go there. Yeah. So here's what I'll do. I want to go to water. Um, I'll assume that you... I'll give you two strategies. Either you can split up and each one of you can roll. Mm-hmm. Or you can go together and do an assist, and whoever has the best investigation rolls with advantage. Let's do that. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. So you're the best investigation. So you're going to roll with advantage. They're going to help. You guys go to the earth cottage, and oh. you start looking around. And a lot of what's 15 there... 15 plus 7, uh, 22. Okay. A lot of what's there is just basic, like, monk living quarters, right? There's, like, very simple bunk beds with like some, like a closet with basically all the same robes because they all wear the same stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Some like prayer beads, some supplies. Which one is this in? The earth okay. cottage. Okay. You do not find anything significant beyond, beyond that. Okay, water. Okay, you go to water. Oh, water. You walk through the water garden, so you actually have to walk on some stones to get through the little water garden to the cottage that's on its own little island. Roll again. Come on. All right. 19. You guys thoroughly search and find nothing of significance. Very similar, um, different colored robes to manifest uh, the water. I should have I should have mentioned that. Slow down. Rewind. All the robes in the earth cottage for those monks are are green. Okay. Okay. When you get to the water garden, they're all blue. Okay. But fire. you you still find nothing. You go to fire. Search. Again, you guys search very effectively, very thoroughly. All you find are the monk stuff. And these ones are kind of a reddish orange. Okay. Okay. Air. You go wind. to the air garden. You guys search together. You, suck. you find nothing significant. And these are kind of like a light 
white kind like of a, a cream. Yeah, off like, white. Like a like a cloud like white color, yes. Okay. The middle. The middle area the the yeah. As you guys are going back to the main temple, what? you hear like this a gong three times. Oh, they're all done. And you see the priests okay. all like leaving and they're kind of going back to their different quarters. <gasps> and the abbot walks out to the doorway and he's like, My friends, did you find what you were looking for? <gasps> yes, we found a bunch of monk clubs. <sighs> no. You No. We still did not know where our friend is. Uh, that is perhaps he is somewhere in town. Well oh, you saw him, yeah. so where is he? I I haven't seen him since the princess was healed. I, Perhaps he is with the princess at her inn in the town. Is there a reason he would be with her? I feel like they were friendly-ish. Oh, ooh. All right. Oh. I don't trust this dude. I think. Can I roll insight on that last one? Of course. One? Oh. That twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. That seems true. And when you think about it, you're like, yeah, you know what? Olin did kind of. He he was kind of like. Yeah, but not as friendly as I was. I was in the pool. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. He's pissed. Let's go. All right. See, yeah, Abbott. If I, I say we if go. I do see Olin, I will, I will send word please. to the town to your to your inn and to let you know. Yeah. Cool. Please. please give us a call. Please. Holla. Thanks. Yeah. So we go back. Can we go back by the princesses? Inn? So should we go? Yeah. Should we go to bed yet? I feel like it's really late. <laughs> You know, you can sleep in your dead. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys go back to town? Yeah. yeah. So it is pretty late at night. That's okay. You go to the inn where the princess is staying. Yeah. Okay. Her, uh, the princess guards, the, the shield maidens are there. And they're like, oh, hey, how's it going? You guys <laughs> look like you've been having fun. Unlike us, we've been standing outside of a door all day guarding. Nice, nice. She's um, sleeping. Is there something you need? What time are you guys planning on leaving? Have y'all seen Olin? Um, the day after tomorrow. Okay. okay. Have right. you seen Olin, our friend? No. Alright. No? I feel like we're gonna have to split up here. You can insight them if you want. Yeah. yeah. Someone, we can't just leave insight. Olin. Wait, wait, can I have... But we have Bill, to go back. Bill, can I have advantage because I'm familiar with oh, one of them? Sure. But Beth wins. Okay. They're not. They're not lying. They, the shield maidens are. Um, Can I? You know, I mean, you've gotten to know them through the journey, and like they're, they're pretty, pretty upfront. Pretty Wait, boring. Boring. <clears throat> Look, can I message? The door opens as you're like talking to them, and they're like, Shh. the door opens, and like, the other um, shield maiden, comes out, and she's like, ah, your turn. She's like, I need to go to sleep. And so one of them goes in. So it seems like they have a rotation. Yeah. Okay. So the other shield maiden goes to the adjacent room and, like, goes to bed. Mm. And so they're there. Yeah, I'm going to bed. We have to go to the city yeah. with them. I guess we got to go to bed. We have to go to bed. Going to bed is a good thing. It's called a long rest, and all of you need it. So you go back to your respective rooms. Okay. okay. You get into your beds, you're exhausted, you've had a very big day. We literally beat immortals. Yes. Yeah. You sleep, you wake up, and it's mid-morning, like 9 a.m., you've slept in, you all feel refreshed, you gain back your, your hit points, your hit dice that you might have used, and those of you with spells can prepare your spells for the day. Okay. <laughs> those of you spells. without spells, you stretch and do your yoga workouts your yoga your can, I, yoga. can i mess around with my no. um you can mandolin. practice with your mandolin yeah. yep yeah. so you take a little bit of extra time after you wake up okay um one of the attendants from the inn is like um well good morning masters we we reserved uh some some breakfast for you it is ready when you are downstairs and uh, also if you desire baths we can have hot water okay. drawn oh, to the bathhouse yeah, very boy. easily for you you're gonna get where, where is the uh, for the low what? sum of one silver? Uh, so, I don't have that. Um, you don't have no silver. One gold piece would handle baths and meals for all of you. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, I just good. give him one gold piece. He's like, so. Master Cademan, thank you. I appreciate your generosity. You should tip him another one. Thanks, Holmes. So you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, can I? I want to give him. Uh, don't just give it away. I want to give him uh, a, a 
a gold piece. It's he's like, like <laughs> he's like, I, I, I'm speechless. What? You've 100%. you've paid for my family's wages Christmas for the next percent. month. You are truly the generous person that everyone has said you are. Hold on, it was my idea to tip him. He's yeah, like, what? Yeah. Why are you giving one? He's, then? He's I gave like, you hundred gold like, pieces earlier. You got more. I don't even know what to say. I will make sure that the baths are cleaned before new water is put in there. Why? That'd be gross if you didn't. So he, <laughs> he like runs downstairs. You guys like get dressed. You go downstairs. There's like a nice. It was my idea to tip him. A Why nice feast. There's, yeah, it was your idea. There, <laughs> there, there are bacon and eggs, some fresh fruit, fresh baked bread. That sounds so good right um, now. They bring out I some mead, bread. some <laughs> honey so mead. Nice, sweet, refreshing honey mead. Is Olin here? Um, Olin is not there. Hmm. Can I Where's go? I'm going to go up to his room. Wait, is Mancha, his room is, 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 Mancha, is Mancha holding the artifact? I slept artifact. in his bed. Mantra has the artifact in her backpack. <laughs> okay. So just sitting in there. Good job. <laughs> Could blow up the wall. Wait, what the second. heck? It's in my pocket. Fuck. Okay. Now what? You know what else she has? Hemp rope. <laughs> Right. Um, so there's there's a um, a sumptuous breakfast. You guys eat breakfast, and then basically they they they're like the the warm water is ready, and so you go to the bathhouse, which is behind the inn. Yeah. You have to take turns because they don't have like six baths, but like, go together. They, so you do three at a time. Yeah. But it was like the old so days. You it's just cradle it's wonderful. So small. You haven't had a proper bath in in like a week since you were in the capital. <laughs> it's not as nice as the capital, of course, but you know, it's It'll not do. bad for a It'll small do. town. Okay. And you guys basically get cleaned up. You're all refreshed <laughs> and fed, and you're you're feeling great. Okay. Time to look for Olin. Princess. Uh, the now. attendant goes back to you, and he's like, "Sire." Would you like us to launder your clothing? You're like, you realize at this point you don't have any extra clothes to launder. Mm. He's like, or if you were looking some for some finery, one of the best tailors in town is just two buildings down. I could summon her and she could take your measurements and bring some sample bolts of cloth. Can she tailor the hooded thing that she I got from Jaffa? Don't tailor, tailor that don't is tailor literally that. her job. Because it could be the thingy from the hooded thing. What did I give you? Wait, what? I have no idea what it is, but I really want to wear it. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I don't know what did I give you. Uh, no, okay. it could be. It could be so the hooded thing from Jaffa. He, he, not from. He bids you farewell. Is, He's like, I, I will. Yeah, I'll be here I all know. day, sire. Yeah. If if you desire dinner, just let us know sometime in the mid afternoon. We'll make sure that there's a proper feast. For Why folk of your so nice elevation. Because he gave, him, he gave him. Um, did you ever see our friend too. like walk like, in at any point last night? Our friend Olin. Uh, the the tallish man. Yeah. With yeah. a thin build. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I do not recall, uh, madam. But I I, work the earlier shift. Is there anybody uh, that would work the night shifts? Yes. Uh, Where? Of, of course, my father. He'll be in this afternoon. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Tell him. Text him. <laughs> I, I, if you, if it's important enough, I can go wake him up right now. Do it. No, uh, no, 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 no. We'll talk to him later. It's okay. It's okay. I think we should do it. No. It's very Let the man sleep. Yeah, no. He's not here. Thank you so much. Of course, sire. Go. He, he leaves. Yeah. Here's the next gold piece. Ooh. He's like, what? Did you, yeah. <laughs> Indeed, the legend of Giraffa is true. <laughs> Here's like, another one. Hi. I've, I don't even, I've never seen a cat lady before, but you're, if you're a representative so of your race, you are in truly a paragon of your race. I had to make it up because he's still my Sorry, I'm not giving boy. you any money, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know how he's, bad. He, I have, like, he bows four yeah. times, but almost tripping over paid. himself. Oh, you didn't get paid by the emperor. Yeah. Neither did I. You're with us. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Now to look for all right, yep. dun, 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 dun. So where are you gonna go? Are you going down that graveyard? Where I forgot what you said you guys were gonna do. No, we're going to the uh, princess, I thought. Oh, you're going to see the Wait. princess? Yeah. Oh, that's why you're all coming up. All right. Because that's So you guys walk down do. the street, you go to the nice inn where the princess is, and uh, it's it's like by this time it's like eleven AM, right? You spend mm -hmm. a couple hours with food and baths and all that stuff. So it's uh like and you go in, um, you see one of the shield maidens is at the base of the stairs going up to the rooms and she sees you guys and she nods. And then um, you you go up, go down the hall, you go to the princess's room, the other shield maiden sees you guys and she's like, oh, looks like you guys cleaned up. 
that's good. <laughs> uh, she knocks on the door. And you hear the princess's voice. She's like, yes? She's like, um, your traveling entourage is here, my lady. Oh, bring them in. And the door opens. And um, you guys go in. And the room is, is nice. The princess is seated. She, she stands up. And she looks at all of you and she smiles. And, uh, she's like, Cademan, welcome. It's good to see you. She looks um, 20 times healthier than she did before. She seems like very, very well recuperated. Um, her, her dragon scales are of a healthy color and she's standing easily and strong. She's like, please join me, my friends. Have, have seats. There's, she, there's like a bowl of fruit on the table and there's some like dried meats and cheese. You're looking much better, your highness. Thank you. I, I cannot thank you enough for She's bringing like, me I'm here to, to the monastery and healing me of the infirmity. She's like, won't you sit? And she sits back down. Have you seen Owen by any chance recently? Uh, I have not. Not since the, the day after my healing. healing not day. since I, I last saw all of you. Uh, Has he left town? I don't think so. No. Um, He's no. out. He's just on an adventure, and hmm. we can't find him. Yeah. Hmm. Dope. All right. Well, <laughs> you're feeling better then, Lisa? I'm feeling wonderful. I, I would love to have your company if you and Elixia would play some music for us. That would be wonderful. You know I'm, what? I take out the cool mandolin. Not just my normal mandolin, but I take oh. out the cool mandolin. Okay. Oh, I'm God. Like, please don't persuade her to like, well, mess with you. No, I'm not going to. We have things to do today. I'm just going to play this really well. <laughs> Tony, would you like to Damn use your it. inspiration point right now? No. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, reroll. I can't do a one. I can't have a nat one. <laughs> I'm, I'm If you roll in. another one, I'm going to laugh. 12. Uh, oh, okay. okay, 12 plus 8. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's you do 20. Funny. Okay, okay. You, you play a nice tune, and she's like smiling and happy and stuff, and... You finish up a couple songs and she claps. She's like, it's so wonderful having you here. And all of you, I, I appreciate you being here. I'm I'm assuming that Hilda told you that we will be leaving tomorrow. What? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> are you are you going to accompany us back to the capital? Yes. I'm sure that my uncle would love to, oh, yeah, to receive you, you properly yeah. at court. <laughs> yeah. <happened>? yeah. <laughs> well, Hilda felt that we, if we leave tomorrow, we, we should probably leave earlier so that we can make it a little further past any dangerous areas. I would feel so much more secure if you all accompanied me. And of course, Hi, Giraffa. Giraffa you, you. you are as well. Um, she looks at you, Giraffa. Oh my god, no. She's like, you are as well, of course. Welcome to Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, it's oh, her, Mr. Her hey, eyes maybe she's a lesbian. Her eyes are looking doctor? up and down, no, and she's like, "You, she's not. I tried that. we would, we would love to have someone of your daring strength and legendary." <laughs> I am Mr. sure that my uncle girl. would welcome you at court. We would love to. She oh licks goodness. her lips. No. Can I? Oh, oh my God! God! <laughs> Just like accidentally. She licks her lips. Shake with my dart. <laughs> <laughs> in the shin. <laughs> not like a lot. Not enough to cause like a Are you jealous? Damage? Yeah. I'll turn it on. Bless you. Bless, Bless you. you. Bless, Bless you. you. So, Bless you, Mantra. She, um, so we leave her now. She's like, so if you will be joining us, uh, Hilda is going to have the uh, the wagons. We we also purchased an additional wagon. Oh, yes. So Shit. that we, we should have more than enough space mm -hmm. for those who wish to take oh, a rest. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. So I, then I look forward to seeing you all yes. uh, in the morning. Oh, cool. yay! That would be wonderful. Excellent. I excuse, I excuse, tomorrow, I I excuse myself. Yes, yeah. I want to go. So you guys you leave. I climb yeah. to the rooftop. Oh yeah. my and god. And then I just sit on the chimney and like I look out and I try to find like Owen from my point of view. Just very dramatically. Just like Spider Man. I'm just, just like. Yeah. I'm just like <laughs> so from this perspective, sweet, sweet Beth. The camera. Sweet, sweet Beth. <laughs> um, <laughs> from this perspective, Samantha, you can see the town. Yes. Okay. You see, you know, the, how the mountain climbs up. And you see the, the walls of the monastery. And above the monastery is kind of like rocky mountainous terrain with some crags and some mm -hmm. 
kind of like out cropping. You see like a nest of eagles, like mm -hmm. there's eagles up there. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of turning around, you see below town where there's, you know, kind of like a layout of a few buildings, but not that many outside of the town wall. To the west. And then you see <laughs> down below, you see like, yeah. like a couple really small kind of stone buildings and yeah. what looks like a, a wall, like a, a stone wall that like has crumbled in parts. The west and there's side. like some trees, and but they're kind of like overgrown. There's like weeds and stuff and rocks. Wait, wait, is the grave site at... Is this Kim Ki Kitwa that we're at right now? Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's so you see west. this you yeah. see this like that's overgrown old cemetery with like crumbled walls and some of the crypts and buildings are But no old you you, you scan you're up there for a while. You don't see Owen. Rip. All right. Can I well, go? I'm gonna go do the grave do I wanna do the graveyard thing? Well Pyro wants to ask the graveyard thing. Let's try to figure out where Owen is. Like, what if he's beneath the city? Like, can we get into, can we go underneath the city? Well, Tony, you recall that when you guys went with uh, the rock gnome, you know the point of entry to get into where they had excavated, and you at least know how to get back to where you were before. Can but I you go? You don't remember any other paths beyond that. Except for the, can we go to the gravesite? because they said that it was under the city and that there's supposedly entrances to it on the west side. You could try. Is anyone down to I'll go with. try to go ahead and do that? I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I guess. I'm assuming, let's, I'm just, I'm, I'll say this. You should always tell the DM, like, if you're bringing all of your adventuring gear or if you're bringing anything special or if there's things that you're not bringing. Like, if you're like, I'm not going to bring my rope and backpack. Okay. Or if you're bringing or, everything, you just say, I'm yeah, bringing everything. I'm bringing everything. And by I'm that, I think he's everything. trying to get a, probably the artifact, too. So, well, I'm so, assuming that she has the artifact on yeah. her in her backpack. It's I have a little time. backpack, right? and it's in there. Yeah, see? Can, okay. Before we go, because Sam's up there for a while, can I go to the bar real quick? Yes. Okay, can, I want to go to the bar, <laughs> and I want to go you're such to the, where we were yesterday, and I want to go up to the fine noobs rooms. Can I pay okay. for him to get And I want to know what The fine noobs rooms have been cleaned up. Okay. The innkeeper there is like, um, these these rooms are not for rent. They're actually owned by the owner of our tavern, but he's not here right now. Really? Wait, can I? Am I like at the bar, or what am I doing? Like, where am I? You're, you were you were you were like making there? your way upstairs, and okay. like he stopped you. He's like, so I, I know you were here last night. Did you see him leave? No, I did not. I was actually wondering if you knew where he was. I, I don't. I just went up to the rooms, and they were trashed. So I. We cleaned up as best as we could, but I haven't heard from him. Are the rooms like cleaned out, like totally, or is no. it just cleaned up? He's like, would you like to see them? Yes. He takes you up there. It basically looks like he picked up like the broken things mm -hmm. and like the other furniture is still there. Mm -hmm. Basically, it looks look like just cleaned up from where you were last night. Mm -hmm. Is anything out of the ordinary? Can I roll like investigation? You can. Okay, I have a zero investigation. <laughs> but you come in pretty good and it's it's basically looks like how you guys left it last night just like cleaned up and you know like can I go through the one that we didn't fight in the other one's room I already looked through that you can okay and when we go in there are the drawers still open he oh, goes like, did you know this gentleman as well yeah yeah find it he's like the one with the black curly hair yeah his yeah, name yeah. was fine Oop too that's what he told us he didn't introduce himself to me, he just said that I could call him the gentleman, but okay. <laughs> I am the name. gentleman. So can I go, I want to go through the clothes, because Sam went through all the clothes and didn't take much of it. Yeah, he's like, I, I cleaned out the room because he also seemed to disappear. I'm not sure he left in a hurry. He prepaid for his room, so it didn't really matter, but if you, if you wish, Rafa, he opens the door with the key, you look through, basically it's looks the same as when you were there last night. So they just dipped. Bill. Well, they didn't dip. They you know what happened to them, but yeah. what? But the I innkeeper the doesn't know. Epic yeah. idea. Okay, so you come back. Yeah, because I just wanted to make sure they didn't like okay. disappear. You come back from the inn, you're climbing down from your roof stop. 
Cademan's like, guys. I call him over. I'm like, guys, I have an idea. Okay. So I've recently acquired the ability to be able to speak to the dead. So if someone would be able to, like, enhance ability me somehow, or if someone had an enhance ability spell, like, kind of like Bardic Inspiration like I have, and, like, could do that to me, I could play with my cool mandolin while singing to the dead while someone Bardic inspires me in order to ask all of them at the same time rather than just one at a time. That is a very innovative plan. That's a really good plan. Dang. But I don't think any of them but have it. Is Guidance? I don't have it. Guidance would give him a, a, an additional a little, die like, yeah, I have to that. help out with the roll. Yeah. I have a harp. <laughs> Okay. I have a hammer. So, are you, you guys heading down? Better. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to go try okay. that. So you start strolling through town. You make it down the path. You're outside of town now, town down at the bottom of the hill. And you kind of head west around the hill. And it's, uh, you're like off the path now. There's like a lot of rocks. There's some, some scrub brush. I don't know if you remember me describing this area to you, but it's not the lush fertile green land that the rest of Kabul Kailash is like. This is kind of barren. Okay. It's almost like Nevada or, or Nevada. 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 What's Nevada? It's like Nevada. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little bit deserty, some some plants occasionally, some scrub brush here and there, uh, a lot of rocks, a lot of sand, dirt. Uh, you get towards this area and as you guys get closer you see that this looks like it must have been the cemetery for the original town that was here before Kadim Kikala was built. The stone wall is cracked and crumbled in most places. Like, you don't even have to climb it. You can just kind of walk through one of the gaps, step on some stones, and you're in. You notice that the ground is also just barren. It's just dry earth. Um, there are a bunch of broken headstones that are so worn away from time and erosion that you can't even read the, the inscriptions on them. Oh. And if it weren't for the shape of them, you'd think that they were just natural like rocks that maybe came down from a, a rock slide. Um, there is a few, there are a few crypts, like small burial buildings. Most of them, the roofs have collapsed over time. Some of them, the walls have collapsed and they all kind of look very broken down. Uh, there's some like dry vines and brush that have grown over, like weeds basically that have grown over in time. So how are you kind of approaching this? Are you gonna just, what are you looking for? What are you searching for? What Tony, are you doing? Er, Tony, this okay. is you, man. So. Cademan, you tell us. I wanna do, I think, enthralling performance because it says people can be charmed for up to an hour and I kind of want to see how that reacts with the mandolin in addition Who are to you charming? the dead people okay. while I'm talking I'm going to give you this one for free. Okay. The dead are usually immune to charm. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to do enthralling performance. Though, okay. But I'm going to use a performance role, and then I'm going to use talking to the dead and my cool mandolin with all of that power, yes. which has worked with the dead before to kind of remember to prevent them from touching me. Because they responded to it, and uh, that's it. If anybody else has any kind of like inspiration, is there anywhere time. specific? Are you guys generally looking for anything in the cemetery, like a specific? I don't know. We location? just found Cademan, yeah. so Cademan, you gotta tell us what you want us yeah, to do. Yeah, come on, boy. Bro. Okay. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. They only know the information that they have known in life. So where is the monastery located in the city? It's above the city. Right, I know, I know, but city. where specifically in the city? North like east. you're here, Northeast it's there. Of where you are. So I'm gonna ask them in their town, Don't. what was in the northeast of it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? In addition, I'm gonna ask about Raxine, but that's second information. But if we can figure out what's underneath the monastery, we might understand better like, where Beecher could be hidden. Owen could be hidden. Okay, do it. Okay. So, how am I rolling on this build? Do I just do... So, because you're kind of combining things. Yeah. Um, 
let's do your performance roll, which would enhance the spell first to see how that effectively that works. Okay. Can I, do we have rope? So first of all, you don't see any corpses. Are you gonna like dig up a grave? No, we should probably try to get into, is there anything that looks like a point of entry? You see one of the crypts that isn't completely collapsed. And if you go in there, you see that there are like vaults basically, where bodies are buried, like a drawer, like a big drawer. I like that. So if you break the marble, Someone strong breaks the marble or mantra. Do you yeah, either one of you guys. Do you have a crowbar? No, um, I have a hammer. Okay, you can use Do these hammer. look old though? I have do these look yeah. like the ones she was describing? Okay. I can... Should we make a do you want me to make a roll or no? Sure. Okay. Okay, yeah. Nat that, 20. It I You're like smash. So <laughs> you smash the front plate and in fact you see a very, very old set of bones. Uh with Clothing that is mostly just rotted away, some basic jewelry. Probably somebody wealthier because this is a crypt and not just a grave in the earth. Okay. It's true. So. So. I, can I assume there's more dead within this yeah. room as well? Mm-hmm. Can So with this performance, the reason why I wanted to do the singing was I was thinking I could reach more of them mm-hmm. without having to be directly in front of them. Yes. Can I do that? Yes. So I'm going to speak So the way the, the spell dead. works, it's basically you got a 10 feet range. Okay. Um, and it's, a, it's a, a corpse of your choice. What I'm going to say is that if you make this enhanced performance roll, then you can, I'll let you expand it to more than one corpse. Yeah. Okay. And nobody has any kind of enhancement? No powers. No. Well, she gave you guidance, guidance, so you can add a D4 to your roll. Okay. And I get performance, right? My performance bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 15. Fifteen plus eight is. 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. You're fine. <laughs> you can add a guidance roll. You can add a D4 to that. Yeah, I do. I do okay. want to add that. Two. Two. Okay. So now, as you're singing, you're burning incense, and you cast the spell. You may ask... And I'm playing with the cool mandolin. Yes. You may ask five questions. Oh. I say, people of the town, I want to know what was in the northeast side of your town. (laughs) Who? What did I say? <laughs> That's my first question. What, is in the, what was in the northeast of your town? The corpse of the lady like that in the <laughs> in the slot. Sh- then I went. Sh- the corpse of the lady in the slot that he opened up speaks to you first to answer the question. That makes me so uncomfortable. Oh, I don't like that. There's a dead lady talking to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. While I'm singing. So she, you're, you ask that question, and she says, "The ancient temple." Oh, that's so creepy. The ancient temple. Who so who was worshipped in the ancient temple? <laughs> who <laughs> was worshipped? Nezrak. Got to avoid, right? No, you've never heard that word before. I feel like I have. It sounds really familiar. Hmm. Who is Nezrak? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the necromancer. The necromancer? The necromancer? Alex given that. Necromancer. Uh, God of some kind of dead. Necro is dead, right? Necro. What was that? Necromancer. Necromancer. Looking to the library to me. One, two, three, no. right? Two, two questions. Uh, I have two more, right? Okay. Have you seen Olin? Two. No. Um, <laughs> ask her. Ask her about a racadine. I'm gonna, yeah, so I have one more, right? Or two more? Two more. Two more? Two more? Okay. Who, what, what was the purpose of the necromancer? Ooh. Ooh. That's how you're gonna use. 
No, I have one more. Don't. Okay. So the reason why I have to stop and think is because it's not like this corpse is omniscient. Like, they, they only knew what they knew in life. So right. I have to think if this person in her life would have known this. To open the gateway to the Medusa Isle. <laughs> Didn't someone find bones earlier that looked like a Medusa mm -hmm. skeleton? Yeah, hi. That's what you have those? Yeah. Good. Um, five. <laughs> Do you know of Rakazine? Ooh. That's Arachazine. Ew. Ew. Stop saying Rakazine like you're going to have a Boston accent. Rakazine. Oh, God. Arachazine. Uh, Rakazine. It's like, no, I don't know what Rakazine is, but I know what a Rakazine is. Why her face look like that? <laughs> she kind of looks like a man. <laughs> oh my gosh, she kind of looks so like Why does she, she have a knows, mustache? She only knows gender? what she knew in life. Okay, so you ask her, <laughs> what do you know of a Rakazine? Yeah. Why does that lady look like Bill? Why does that lady look like Bill? She says, <laughs> it is here. It is my home. Oh, wow. That's a cliffhanger and a half. What? No, wait. it's like half of a cliffhanger. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <gasps> Not a question, uh, right? Uh, okay, I'm going to go on to the next old person since I'm able to talk to all of them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! Wait, no, actually, he should go on to the next person and ask more about Arrakazine because yeah, they said Yeah, and about the Isle of Medusa. Okay. Like, go ahead. All right, who's the next old guy? You smash another case open? Wait, can I roll another d20? <gasps> oh! Shut up! I love how he's rolling nat 20s to smash open <laughs> like a rock. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, and then right, But you know what? It's easy. He's seen other corpse. Okay, Go I'm ahead. like, listen, pal, let me ask you real quick. What the hell is a rack zine? It's my first song to him. It is here, it is our home. Okay, where, <laughs> more specifics, you seem like you lived a long time, so maybe, like, specifically, where is Arachazine? Like, specifically, like, almost like, give me coordinates. You ever thought that Arachazine? What does that mean? It is Long the continent latitude. of Arachazine. It's what? The continent of Arachazine. It's a continent? We are, you are on it. What? 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 Bro. Girl, I mean. Oh. No, it's a dude this time, I think. Oh, it's a dude this time? I don't know, I Bruh. just smash it open. What okay. do you know about the god of the void? Ew, why is he singing like that? <laughs> what do you know about the god of the void? I do not <laughs> know this god. Okay. What do you know of the... Well, no. or the Medusa Isle. Ask him about the it artifact. It is an evil place. Why is it wow. evil? Place. This guy sucks. Right, why is it evil? <laughs> it is full of abominations, monsters, and demons. Okay, okay next one. It's like hell. I think we do one more. I forgot these demons are coming. Wait, 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 for wait. What? Hey, pause for a second. What, the Medusa of the I wherever? Don't, don't you think that's the place where the X is? On yeah, the that's what I'm thinking where it is. That too. definitely Okay, is. but that's hold on. It. I'm confused because Olin's trying to collect all his Medusa stuff. No, you don't know what silver. he's trying to collect. Yeah. All we know oh, is that he's, he's trying to find on. the scroll. Let me write this down. Let me write this down. So it's full A scroll for his patron. That's all we know. We don't know anything else. But when we were in the cave, he told us that he's like trying to collect all this stuff for his master. Yeah, for his patron. Yeah, but and like it was all Medusa all, stuff. You remember what okay. like, Yeah, it was all space. Medusa stuff. All like, right, so we need to find all Medusa. Medusa. Figure that out. Medusa seems like a pretty important thing here. So the next... Crack open a... <laughs> what if it's a nap one? Dead person. Well, whatever. I feel like I should miss this one open. and like okay. break the skull open so I have to do it anyway. <sighs> Alright, so... Oh my gosh, she's gonna go on to the next person. <laughs> she's cracking open the dead person. Okay. Yeah. More like cracking over. Okay, so 
can you can you really quick give me a <laughs> vocal description of the geography <laughs> of the continent? Oh my god! Oh my god! Please. What? Wait, I need more paper. Wait. I need to draw a map. So you no. you oh ask him you ask him to give you a brief description. Yeah. So like seas. You know, this guy should, this guy should just be above. He's like, we, I don't know. We are, we are the western coast of Arrakazin. <laughs> I need to draw a map. Okay. A okay. Okay. That's not and, west. And where? What? To, <laughs> no, yeah, it is. To the it. east. Yeah. <laughs> to the east. What's in the middle? What's in the middle? <laughs> the mountains. The mountains. Okay, is that where the Isle of Medusa is? No. Why are you drawing little birds? No. What? So the, okay, where is the Isle of Medusa? Far to the east. Great. <laughs> across, across the oceans, east of Kem. Where's Kem? Okay, wait. Wait, why are you off the map now? I... I'm thinking it's off Why the is island. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Medusa. Okay. So where is where is Cam? East of Arakazine. <laughs> East of Arakazine. Okay. <laughs> well, you should have brought a map okay. here. Honestly. So. And by the way, you've never heard of any of these things. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this well. is um, Medusa Island, Cam. <laughs> Mountains. Nice. Cam. So what did you figure out with this? About how far apart in diameter <laughs> is is Arrakazine? Would you say roughly? Two thousand miles. Okay, that's it. Okay, next one. <laughs> Thank you. Two thousand miles. Yeah, Tony, you have to put the just to give you some idea. That's the nice. width of the continent near Wolf is yeah. about 280 miles. 280 miles? That's massive. Oh my god. So the continent on which you reside small and is about 280 miles wide. Oh my god. We're going to need a boat. Let me drive the boat. Let me drive the boat. I have a fine steed. Okay. Can I? Tony, you feel Can like I the magical it? energies and the expanded ability of your yeah, spell worn has worn off. Not only that... I got another nat 20 in me, though. Please don't tell me we see somebody. He got, he, I literally did roll another nat 20, Bill. He really did? Yeah, I swear to God. Did you see me throw it? I flipped yeah. it. Does, can, he, can, can it not be for this? Can it just be for, like... Not only that, but you feel a tremor. Like, all of you feel like the earth kind of shake a little bit. Okay. You, earth, sorry, I'm out. I'm saving myself. Too much. We run. Too much. <laughs> not like a, ah, like, but just like a, like a, little, a little rumble. Like you hear like, like a rumble a from below it. you and the, the earth shakes a little bit. Okay, so I, I, I go up. I go up, up, Yeah, up, we, up, we, up, we get up, out of up, that yow, grave. Yeet outside. Okay, yeah, well, you're, you, you're only in a little building. So right. you just we walk outside, just outside the building. You're still in the cemetery. Is it like a long one? Is it like... Ten seconds or is like a minute? Like four seconds. Okay. Yeah, okay. A minor tremor. Does everyone have the same idea that it's probably the guy downstairs? The angry demon god? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Possibly. Satan? Mm -hmm. I mean, him and Olin speak a lot of the same language. I haven't seen Olin in a while. I feel like Olin's weird. She spoke that language. Dude, Olin used to be a cool name. Yeah. She's Did bad. she roll? He could but still be inside? bad. Dude, what's... That's how she knew to what that he was talking to her, that she was the only one that could hold the artifact. Could, oh God, could she? Anything I smell? God, no, because I, I don't want to so do good. another spell. I was going to say, could she tell me the language and I could speak it to the dead? And see well, if it's any infernal. Yeah, it's infernal. Okay, whatever. Uh, Wait, what about this earthquake? Does Sam, like, see anything when she goes up? Like, does Sam go up anywhere and see anything that happens? Where do you go up to see anything? I don't know. Oh. There's no up. There's no up, yeah. No, so I just go outside. Well, Alright, so you guys are standing it's in the graveyard. graveyard. Um, you guys feel another tremor. No, but this we have time, to go. This time, the tremor's a lot more significant, a lot more intense. And the ground actually splits. 
<gasps> All of you oh, make yeah. dexterity saving throws. Oh, dude, if the 20s don't come up now. What? Uh, 7. Can I have 14? 22. Dexterity, I have, wait, I might have good. Yeah, I have 4, so eight. Wait, where's 16, dexterity? 30. Three. The dexterity what? saving no, throw. So you look uh, at your saving three. throws and the number three. that you have next plus to Plus three, so I have 14. ten. She got fourteen. Three. Ten. Fourteen. Ten. Eight. Five. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Fourteen. 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 Ten. Fourteen. Twenty-two. The ground splits and this chasm opens up. You guys jump back and you're on one side. You guys both start to fall down into the <gasps> chasm. <gasps> And that's where we're going to end this episode of D&D with high school students, the summer sessions. You had to talk. To Thank you for watching. We'll you see had you to next talk time. To dead people. Who farted? <laughs>